and I thought he was yanking my chain. Yanking your what? Your boss said you'd be here earlier. My boss? Your boss, Eberhard. I don't know him. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. I am Ferenc Waller. I used to be a cardiac uh, heart surgeon. I'm Aiden, but who is Eberhard? At this point, I'm not sure anymore. Some guy I met said <coughs> he'd arranged to recover a pacemaker from the medical offices in the, in the quarantine building for me. Did you pay him in advance? I did. <coughs> that wasn't too smart. Oh, well. I guess I'll just go after the pacemaker myself. I promised my wife I would get it. And I intend to keep my word. <laughs> How do you know it's there? I consulted there back in the day. So I know where they keep equipment like this. Where, exactly? Are you offering to go for me? Yeah, why not? If I can help. Besides, you promised your wife, right? Excellent. The medical equipment room's on the third floor. But it's dangerous in there right now. I'll wait until tonight when the infected leave the building. They'll find shelter around here for now. I'll be at the windmill. Good luck, Aiden. Aiden, we have discovered a new location that's supposed to be filled with well-preserved books. Stop by when you can.
Found your pacemaker. Thank you. Now I need to arrange for surgery. I hope you can, and that your wife will be okay. My wife? Oh, I buried her last year. Natural causes. Nothing heart-related. I'm the one with the faulty ticker. <coughs> and it's running down more and more every month. Monica made me swear to take care of myself. I've been helping others all my life. The time has come to help myself. Okay, but who's gonna implant the pacemaker? I'll figure that out soon enough. First step was to get a hold of a pacemaker. Now what? Continue the race against time, I guess. I can't be the only heart surgeon left in the world. I hope you find one, Doctor. And soon. Thank you, Aiden. Take care.